Hi, this is Ed from the Whiskey Tangent Podcast with another whiskey short for you. I'm here with Scott. Hey, everybody. Today we're going to talk about something that comes up a lot in the podcast and comes up a lot when you're drinking whiskey. Should you put ice or should you put water in the whiskey you're drinking? And a lot of people have an opinion on this. And to be honest, when you're drinking whiskey, you want to enjoy what you're drinking and... What that means to different people is unique to everybody. Yeah, everyone has their own preference of how they want to drink their whiskey. That's why a bartender will ask you if you want it neat or on the rocks or with a little bit of water on the side. Right. So should you add water to your whiskey? (sighs) Whiskey short. The legendary bourbon distiller Pappy Van Winkle believed that 50% ABV was the ideal alcohol concentration for whiskey. He resisted selling anything at a lower proof than a hundred proof. Because as he said, I see no sense in shipping water all around the country. (laughs) I mean, when you look at it that way, yeah. But even uh, Van Winkle recognized, of course, that some people were going to want to put additional water into his whiskey. Right. He can't control what happens to his whiskey after he leaves his factory. Fuck him. (laughs) And his fucking $4,000 bottles of whiskey. Bitch, I want one. Please send one. Sponsor us. So he was so much against it, he even said, he suggested added whiskey to water. That way, you make a poor thing better rather than a fine thing worse. Nice. Now, his counterpart, the famous distiller Booker No, grandson of Jim Beam, he believed that with a good proof whiskey like around 100, you could actually take that ratio down to equal parts, one part whiskey and one part water, and still not break down what he called the flavor structure of the spirit. Now, for some people, that's too much. Yeah, I think somewhere in the middle is probably where most people are. Right. We have a little formula that we found online on how you can determine the perfect proof for you. Now, remember, adding more water to a spirit is basically self-proofing it. Hmm. So if it's a 100 proof spirit and you put in 20% water, you've taken the proof down of that mixture down to 80 proof. Right. And when you order a good quality scotch or bourbon in a good whiskey bar they will bring you a small little bottle of distilled water so you can uh, put it your own in and taste it to your uh, specification you you would add water mostly when it's neat because it opens up the flavor that's a phrase you hear a lot i've never been to scotland but i've watched a lot of videos of scottish distillers talking about adding some water to their 12 15 year single malts and stuff to open up the flavor definitely not a lot of water mind you some people say just four or five drops Yeah. And Booker No says it can be almost half a glass. So, (laughs) I mean, everyone's got their own perspective. So, Scott, tell them our format for today. Yeah, so we decided to test for ourselves whether and to what extent water and ice has on the flavor of a whiskey. So the whiskey that we chose is Elijah Craig. Uh, Elijah Craig is one that we like, but not not one that we're super familiar with, so that we thought it was a good one. And what we're going to do is uh, we have a glass that's neat, and we're going to taste that. Then we're going to add some water to it and uh, reevaluate. Then we're going to add some ice and then just taste that one. And we have one standing by already with ice in it that's been melting. I like to put ice in in a majority of the whiskey that I drink because I do like it to be a little cooler and I like the journey that a high proof spirit takes when you put in let's say two or three regular ice cubes and they start to melt and the first sip is a little more fiery and then as the spirit cools and water is released into it from the ice cubes the flavor changes and each sip of a good quality spirit is going to unlock different flavors. I uh, like the same journey, but I do it a little bit differently. What I like to do is I like to order it neat, but have ice on the side. So I can taste the full spirit as the distiller meant it to be presented to you. But then I like to put a little bit of ice into it, taste it when it's cold. Mm -hmm. And then as the ice melts, exactly as Ed said, the taste does change from the point where you put ice in it and it starts to melt. So tonight we're going to do all of that. Right. And one side note, if it's a really good spirit like Angel Every Rye that we like a lot or maybe a Blood Oath, this is where you want to bring in the globe ice cubes or the squares you make at home. Right, because it melts slower. So you don't want to infuse too much water too quickly into an expensive spirit. And I think we should talk about the other end in that when you have a whiskey that you maybe don't care for maybe you do want to water it down no. you want to put some ice in it so that you don't taste <laughs> some of the things that you uh don't well, like I about say, it then i say just order something else but let's start a, <laughs> we're going to take a sip of the elijah well, craig neat well maybe you can't maybe right. they don't have anything else yes so we're going to take a neat okay all right so that's just right out the bottle hmm. it's a 94 proof spirit elijah craig is what you taste in there it's it's got a deep flavor. Like sometimes I can taste the complexity of the flavor, but without 
individually identifying things, just that there's a lot going on. The 94 proof, in the neat sense, it's a lot of fire. Um, it doesn't really taste that hot to me. Um, but it's 94, so that's a little surprising. Um, so we add a little bit of uh, filtered water. I, I would we say to buy distilled water. Uh, yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have fil- right. We have filtered water, Brita, if you will. Right. Um, I would say that I tasted um, well. You know, your your usual uh, vanilla corn, mm-hmm. uh, oh, maybe a little right. v- uh, roasted peanut flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was neat. Right. And we, we didn't do this incredibly scientific, but I would say that I put probably 25% water in with the whiskey. Was that about right? Yeah. We've probably proofed the 94 down to about 70 now. And uh, let's see what we taste. Mm. Wow. I mean, it's smoother, obviously, because we added water to it. And, um, and I do feel like when it's neat, it feels like it punches me in the tongue. It's a very dense hit. It also numbs your tongue a little bit. Right. With the water added, the flavor seems to be spread out more. It, it kind of comes like a wave through my mouth. And mm-hmm. it's like, it's definitely still delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now we'll taste it with some ice. I would say almost a little bit too much for me. Like, I'm not getting anything now. Yeah, see, now adding... Water and ice to it made it more watered down than I would drink it. Yeah, right. Consequently, we have the glass that we've had sitting on the side that we put whiskey and ice in. I think this is going to be just the same thing we tasted. I, I don't think so. No? Well, there was taste more that. spirit in that. Taste that. You'll see right. it. The other one we watered down and then put ice cubes in, which watered it down again. It's still a little bit more than you'd want because we took a while to get to it because I talked too long. But but the reality is <laughs> it's not the same because we didn't put water and ice. We right. just put ice. Right. So – The whole point of this is you're going to figure out your own journey, and I have a formula that you can apply from the Whiskey Advocate article. Here's exactly how much water to put in your whiskey. September 28th, 2017, Charles Cowdery, he came up with this formula, which I thought was cool. Take the amount of whiskey that you are drinking, two ounces, for example, then divide that by the amount of water added to the amount of whiskey. So if you're having two ounces of whiskey, divide that by 2.5, okay? And then times that by the bottle proof. Let's say 100. And that equals your perfect proof. That's a lot of math. So it's 2 divided by 2.5 times, in this case, uh, 94. Right. So 75.20. All right. Which is probably how I like to drink Elijah Craig. Because I do like Elijah Craig with a couple cubes. Right. So once you have your proof... Then there's another calculation that you can do that says uh, how much you want to drink. So say you put three ounces in a bottle. And it's 100 proof. In a glass. And you want it to be around the 75 proof because we just figured that out. Right. It'll tell you to add an ounce of water. There you go. So the point is you're going to come up with something that you enjoy doing when it comes to proofing your own spirits. And honestly, you know, fuck this frat boy shit. Like if you're drinking 100 proof whiskey and you want to put two ounces of whiskey and, and an ounce of water, or you want to put in three or four ice cubes with it and let that melt a bit, and that's how you enjoy your whiskey, then that, then do that. Like, anyone who has anything to say about that is, is an absolute tool. Who cares? Yeah, we're a big fan here of uh, drink what you like, how you like, when you like. Whatever. It's all good. It's all whiskey. We're all whiskey brothers Absolutely. and sisters here. No, Nobody should be throwing shade at anyone unless they're drinking gin right. because it's terrible. <laughs> Once again, get something you like, put in two ounces of whiskey, a half ounce of water, drink it. Oh, I like that. And that's your, that's what you like to drink. Maybe you want an ounce. Maybe you want a quarter of an ounce of water. Maybe you want six drops of water. Whatever you want to do, figure out what you like. And then the formula that I, that I shared with you can help you move forward. No matter what the spirit is, you will, you'll be able to figure out how much water you need to add to get it to where you like. And I think that as you get more experienced with something like this, uh, you'll know instinctively how much to add to a 100 proof spirit or a 120 proof spirit to get it down to the way that you like it. Another thing is I devour drinks at a three to two ratio <laughs> over Scott. Like it's normally true. I'm through my first two drinks by the time Scott's through his first one. Just tonight we were sitting around right. uh, just talking about uh, future podcasts and what we want to do. And we both had a, 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 a <laughs> equal measure of a bourbon with ice in it. And, you know, I'm doing the thing and I'm just uh, sipping. And then I look over and his like. Literally five minutes later, his glass was totally empty. I don't, I, and I said, well, what did you want me to do? See, Scott was working. He was on his laptop. He was moving stuff. He was reading uh, potential ideas. He had papers moving in front of him. I had nothing <laughs> but a glass of whiskey in my hand. I felt the That's only true. thing you I were could bored. do. You were, I, yeah, I, I wasn't you. bored, but I was doing what I was doing, which was drinking whiskey. You were doing three other things, and I was just chiming in when you needed feedback. That's true, but uh, right. still, you do drink faster than I, I Right. It doesn't that, matter. That being said... <laughs> If we go out to a place 
Like, I know right away to not wait for him to order the second round. I'm going to order because the second one I will get back on pace with him. But my first drink, I feel like this goes back to when I hit the bar on a Friday night, I was a give me a beer and a shot of whatever. I want to start the night off. Right. You want to set the boom, boom. And then I'll sip a beer for the rest of the night. So it's kind of like my mentality. The first 15 minutes I'm in a bar, I'm looking to get nice. Like, let me catch up where we at. I also feel, though. Uh, since you like to put um, water right. in your drinks, it adds more liquid to it right. that I, eventually I will catch up because I like to put less water in mine. Right. But <laughs> also, you know, when you're drinking it neat, you drink less. Yeah. Water down, Definitely. I'm able to like shoot it back because right. it's much more that, drinkable. That's also true. So we didn't talk about the science. Based on the fact that taste is mostly smell. So when you're when you're tasting something, your nose is breathing in a lot of what you are experiencing as taste. So what your tongue is actually experiencing is only a small percentage. The science goes that your nose gets overwhelmed very easily by the alcohol. So all you will smell is alcohol. Hence, that's all you'll taste. But if you water it down a little bit, what the water does is it tones down the alcohol. Then your nose is not overwhelmed. And your tongue and nose can be in sweet harmony, and you can taste your whiskey. All right. Sounds good. So listen, drink your whiskey however you damn well please. That's right. Don't uh, anybody let me tell you you can't. Wow. I was drunk.